Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be doing a card review of all the farmable units that are available in the Tree of Might events. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First off, I just want to pre-state that these are really old cards. Just keep that in mind. These are cards that were available when the game first came out. I believe this event came within the first six months of the game being released. I'm not 100% sure of the date, but just keep that in mind. They're not going to be really OP units. Um, also, the three cards that we're going to be going over here that are farmable all require the medals from this event to be Z-Awakened. Those are the Fruit of the Tree of Might medals. They're available throughout this entire event, so go ahead and grind the different stages for them. Uh, there, You get so many of them that it's not going to even matter uh, when you need to Z-Awaken them. But let's go ahead and start talking about the farmable units real quick. The first one we're going to talk about is Twin Blitzer Lacasse. Again, I'm sorry if I, I'm, I'm butchering the name. That's how I'm pronouncing it. He is a rare that drops from this rent and he's awakens to an SR with 8 Fruit of the Tree of Might medals. His leader skill is Tech Type Key plus 1. His super attack, Gemini Shot, causes huge damage to the enemy. His passive skill is Twin Fighters. Damage received minus 30% when guard is activated. So actually, you know, that one, that, that passive skill right there just as a defender, makes him good if he's going up against an intelligence unit. So even if, you know, if you don't have really good technique, units on your team he's pretty viable just because he reduces the amount of damage he takes by 30 percent i mean granted we're gonna go over his defense that was really freaking low but it, you know it's something to take into consideration um his link skills are destroyer of the universe team turlist loyalty and attack of the clones his max stats are hp of 50 58 attack of 32 23 and defense of 27 79 so he has really low defense, but just keep that in mind that he's an older card, but that damage received minus 30% makes him a little bit more viable. I haven't damage tested him, so I can't really say that he's great to run, but I would say that he might be someone who's a little bit better to run on that team. His 12 key multiplier is 130%. Um, also, it's worth noting that there is a summonable unit, his um, raise, the, the card Raisin. It's his twin, and they link very well together. I think they hit up all of each other's links. So just keep that in mind. If you have both of them there, you know, they are good linking buddies. Though the card kind of sucks, they both kind of suck. They're just throwing it out there. There's also two other cards, Cacao and Amand, who are both droppable units from summons. But since they are not farmable in this event, we're not going to be doing full card analysis on them. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is... Daring Charger Days. He has a leader skill of strength and physical type key plus two. His super attack is Meteor Ball, causes huge damage to the enemy. His passive skill is Brash Overconfidence, attack plus 20% at the start of the turn. His link skills are Team Turlist, Loyalty, Rival Duo, Destroyer of the Universe, and his max stats are HP of 5998, attack of 5099, and defense of 3249. He is an SR that's droppable from this event, and he Z awakens to an SSR with 35 for the Fruit of the Tree of Might medals. The next one we're going to talk about is Superior Suppressor Turles. He is an SR that drops from this event, and he requires 35 Fruit of the Tree of Might medals to be Z-Awakened. He Z-Awakens to an SSR, as I said before. His leader skill is Physical Type Enemy Attack minus 20%. So for a leader, that's really not horrible if you're going up against a Mono Intelligence unit and you're earlier in the game where you can't just overpower them. This isn't really good against multiple stage events where you go up against different types of units. Uh, different attribute types of units. Anyway, Super Tag is Kill Driver, causes huge damage to the enemy. His passive skill pressure, all enemies attack minus 10%, so it's not really that bad. So it's giving um, a 30% debuff while he's on the field if he's your leader against an intelligence type. Link skills are Destroyer of the Universe, Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepared for Battle, and Brutal Beatdown. His max stats are HP of 6298, attack of 5441, and defense of 3121. So he's not that great whatsoever. Um, the only thing that's good about him is he's free to play, so he's good up against the physical Goku event, or the physical LR Goku event, if he comes out to the global side, like they did on the JP side. Might be a little bit more viable if you don't have any good cards to run, just because he will debuff that Goku while he's on the field. I wouldn't recommend running him as a leader, because you can use the strike event Grandpa Gohan, which is a really viable leader. But uh, let's not go into that right now. He, um, his Z Awaken form, the SSR, has a 50% chance of raising the super deck of two additional cards. Uh, one of them is a summonable unit that's available for summon almost on every banner. Essentially, as long as he's available on the banner, he's not a Dokkan exclusive. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. He's just not a Dokkan exclusive. The Fearsome Tree of Might Turles. Now, this one is a really good unit. I would recommend getting him up to Super Attack 10 if you can from this event. His leader skill is all types T. All types key plus 2. Super Attack Kill Driver causes extreme damage to the enemy and a high chance to stun. His passive skill is Power of the Tree of Might's Fruit, key plus two on all ally for all allies when HP is 50% or above. And his link skills are Saiyan Warrior Ice, Prepared for Battle, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, and Destroyer of the Universe. Um, his max stats are HP of 9710, 
attack of 16, uh, 67, 96, and defense of 40, 25. Now, he also Z -awa uh, Doken Awakens from medals from this event. He is available. You can get those medals on the last stage, which is level 11, Blood of the Saiyan Warrior Race. You could drop up to two medals from that event, and when he Doken Awakens, he, he Doken Awakens into Vile and the Violent Turles. His new leader skill is All Types Key plus 3. Super attack is Kill Driver Supreme Damage. The enemy high chance to stun the enemy, and his passive skill is Ripe fruit of the tree of might key plus three and attack plus 20 percent for all allies when hp is 50 percent or above that's a super viable passive skill it kind of sucks that it's hp of 50 percent or above that is restrictive at all if it was 30 percent it would be even better but you know what it's still a really good passive skill uh it's because it's good for anyone there's it's unrestricted other than his health so he can give it to extreme types super types and any attribute type his new link skills are sand warrior race prepared for battle big bad bosses thirst for conquest destroyer of the universe and shattering the limit so he's, he's really good on both extreme and super teams because he has the big bad bosses link for extreme units. He has prepared for battle for Saiyan, which is usually good units. And that and Thirst for Conquest, I guess, is good on an extreme team. Sort of Saiyan Warriors is kind of okay for a uh, super team. Anyway, um, that's good. His new max stats are HP of 10,100, which is actually pretty decent for a Doken Awaken old card. Attack of 7,104 and defense of 4,195. This one's pretty much a, a stunning unit. Um, it says here he has a 12 key multiplier of 135% and he has a 50% chance to stun for two turns on his super attack. So that's really, you know, he's a really good unit. I would recommend getting him to level up. Uh, by the way, before I go on to the next card, uh, let me just pre-state, I forgot to go over the levels that the ones, that the drop of ones are available. La Case is available on levels 1, 3, and 5. Daze is available on level 4. STR Turles is available on level 7 through 10. And the Doken Metals, like I did state, is available for um, that Intelligence Turles at level 11. Now, the next one we're going to talk about for which one, for what card the Superior Suppressor Turles in, or feeds into is Annihilating Power Turles. Now, this one is the Turles that was available on the global side from World Tournament number 6 or the JP side from World Tournament number 9. He is a leader, a technique type, Annihilating Power Turles. Leader skill is key plus 3 when HP is 50% or above. His super attack is Kill Driver, causes extreme damage to the enemy, rare chance to stun the enemy. His passive skill, Stockpiled Strength Key, plus 3 for 5 turns at the start of turn. Which is alright, it's good. I think it's only for him though, so it's not as amazing. Um, link skills are Destroyer of the Universe, Sand Warrior Race, Prepared for Battle, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses. So similar to the other one, he's good on for both Saint, for uh, super units, uh, with alongside super units and alongside uh, evil or extreme units. His max stats are HP of 8439, attack of 6943, and defense of 5013. Um, again, you can get out the super attack 10 with the strength Turles. He also has a Doken Awakening, he Doken Awakens with 7 Master Mark medals. Uh, just let's go over it real quick. His leader skill is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30% when HP is 30% or above. Super attack is kill driver, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and has a high chance to stun the enemy, which is really freaking nice. Um, passive skill, develop for uh, combat force, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 60%. For seven turns, so the start of the turn, so he just, you know, he's a really good unit uh, overall, especially if you have him at Super Attack 10, because he's at Supreme Damage at Super Attack 10. Link skills are Destroyer of the Universe, Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepared for Battle, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Shattering the Limit, and Nightmare. So he gets two more links on there, and his new max stats are HP of 9089, Attack of 7577, and Defense of 5258. Now, I'm just going over all those. Those are all the cards that are available. Those two cards, the Doken Awakened and the Undoken Awakened versions of the Turles that that Superior Suppressor Turles feeds into. Uh, I just wanted to state that it's a very, it's a big pain in the butt trying to get that Turles to drop. On level 10, he, that's where he has a 30% drop rate. That's his highest drop rate of all the other levels that he is available on. So if you're trying to just get that card, go on level 10 for him. Again, 30% drop rate, super freaking low. It's just a pain in the butt. But one thing I will state is that they, you do get a 50% drop rate for those Fruit of the Tree of Might medals. Now, you don't need a lot of them, but it's one, you're going to need it to Z-Awaken that uh, Strength Turles. And two, when you're done, let's say you have both let's say you have both of those uh, Turleses and you get them both up to Super Attack uh, 10 each. Every single Fruit of the Tree of Might medal that you have left over feeds into the Baba Shop for 12 points apiece. So yeah, it's a little bit slower to feed in there because I think you only do 10 medals at a time. But, I mean, you're getting at 10 medals at 10 is 100 Baba points. You do 100 medals, that's 1,000 points right there. So, it's kind of worth it, in my opinion, if you're trying to get some Baba points. Because then you could even go and purchase one of the cards from our, from the, the shop. It's really worth it. It's definitely worth it. That's it, guys. That is the card analysis review of all the cards from the Tree of Might event and the cards that the Turles, the Strength Turles feeds into. 
Thanks for stopping by and joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you are new, and I'll catch you all in the next video.